Now in this section we're going to look at anchor text and SEO. Now anchor text is the text that appears within a text link. So on a lot of websites you'll see something like you know click here to download our tips and trick sheet or something like that. And the section of text that is clickable is uh, called the anchor text. So as you can see in this example I've got a load of links here to different pages. So the first one says pictures but no text, hidden text, uh, alt tags with uh, sorry alt tags and pictures, web page title and so on and so forth. So in this case the the anchor text, the text you can see in blue in this particular case, that is the the text where ideally you want to put some important keywords in there. So these are quite specific because these are of my um, SEO website. But let's say you wanted to have something you know, for your website, let's say the website was to do with custom carpentry or something like that. You could have a link that said something like, click here to see examples of our custom uh, carpentry. And whichever part of that text you chose to use as a hyperlink, that text or those words within the clickable hyperlink would be referred to as the anchor text. And as I say, the whole point of anchor text is you want to include your keywords in there. So in this example, um, this is from a chiropractor website. Let's say you wanted a link to the prices page. The, uh, the actual anchor text could be something like Perth Chiropractor Prices. In this particular case, the text is displayed as blue and underlined. But it's depending on how your system's set up. Sometimes it's underlined and displayed in blue. Sometimes maybe other colors, maybe not underlined. So it varies from one website to another. But it's important to realize that the text you use within the, within the anchor text can greatly affect your SEO. Now, one of the very common mistakes I see over and over again is a phrase like, click here, for instance, click here to download my SEO tips and tricks. And the words click here are actually the clickable link. That's so the words click here are the anchor text. So if you have click here to download my tips and tricks, and if click here is the clickable portion of that text, what you're really telling Google is that the words click here are important. So if we take that example, you know, where you'd say something like click here to download my SEO tips and tricks, what would make far more sense is have the words SEO tips and tricks as the clickable link as the anchor text. So don't make this mistake that so many websites make. If you're going to have clickable links, maybe clickable links to documents or to other pages, as I say, you, you, you can use the phrase click here to blah blah blah, but the actual clickable bit is not click here, it's something relating to the target page. If you go back to the Google Webmaster Guidelines, which is always the starting point for SEO, uh, they do clearly say that Google likes web pages where you have uh, a couple of uh, text links to all your important pages. So something I tend to do is to have an area at the bottom of my website where in this case as you can see I've got links to uh, SEO Perth, SEO Training Perth, uh, WordPress Training in Perth, uh, YouTube Training Course, Seminar Dates, Web Design Consultancy and Contact Us as well as a few other links over to the right. And these are clickable text links and as I say the the text that makes up the words that are clickable is referred to as the anchor text. And it's a very good idea to have um, lots and lots of clickable links, text links within your website. And as I say, you want to, as far as possible without overdoing it as always, try and pack the links with your important keyword phrases. As well as including links at the bottom of the page, it's also a good idea to have links within the sort of main body text. So, instead of just having a whole load of text on a page, have a whole load of text by all means, but make some of that text clickable. So for instance, if I've got a page that's just generally talking about, say, seminars that I run, within that page, I, somewhere within the body text, I could have something like, you know, click here to see details of my SEO training course, and elsewhere I could have something like, you know, click here to see my, my YouTube training seminars or something like that and those links obviously in turn would link to a relevant page. So this idea of matching your anchor text to the target um, page is also very important. If for instance I have a link that says SEO tips and tricks and that then points to something to do with WordPress or YouTube, that's not so good. If on the other hand I have a link that says, oh, click here to see more details about my YouTube training courses and that in turn links to 
a page and that page has a title and the headers and all the rest of it to do with that particular topic then that's how I gain the maximum benefit so it's a very simple idea you match up the anchor text link and remember anchor text is simply the text within a clickable link so you match up the words within your anchor text to the content page and you make sure that all are message 